All right, tonight I'm going to be playing against Greg, one of our fans who's been talking to us on Discord. Welcome, Greg. Thank you. Um, Greg is going to be playing the Ren deck tonight, um, Glory of Ren deck, and I'll be playing Council. Um, do you have a preference of which prime you'd like to use, Greg? Um, I think I would like to use uh, Roman. Cool. Roman Jackson. Uh, so just go ahead and drag him over to the spot in the planet where it says Persona. Um, who should I be? Um, I'm going to go for Sean Mason. Cool, 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 cool. Um, should we roll for first? Sure. All right. I rolled a six. So you're seven, so you can go first if you'd like. Sure. Um... All right. So the basic turn order, um, at the start of your turn, you would refresh any of your characters in play that were exhausted, although it's the beginning of the game, so none of them are. Um, and normally you'll draw a card at the start of your turn, but because you're going first, you won't do that on the very first turn of the game. Okay. Um, so your five cards uh, that you drew for your starting hand are the cards that you have to play with. Right. Um, and on your turn, you can play one card. Um, if you have a follower uh, that's at the front of your party in the champion position that's not exhausted, it can duel one time, and then you can exhaust your uh, prime to use one of their abilities one time. Um, right. You can do all those things in any order um, in a typical turn. Okay. All right, so I'll bring in Hired Killer. Cool. Um, so he will come into play exhausted. Um, so if you just mouse over him and push, yep, just like that. Um, so he can't duel this turn, but next turn he can duel. Right. Um, there's also not much purpose to dueling this turn since we're both at zero. Right. Okay, and then I could have one of the powers of the prime? Correct. Um, the arrowhead symbol that's at the beginning of each of the abilities means you have to exhaust him to use that ability. Right. Um... I'm not sure that any of these are going to be useful to you uh, here on the first turn. Doesn't look like it. Um, so does that it for you? I think. All right, it is. so I will start my turn. I'll draw a card. Um, what do I want to do with my turn? I'm going to start by... Let's, uh, let's take some tempo here. Um, I'm going to play High Court Bailiff. Um, she has Guardian, so she can't initiate duels, um, but you can duel against her. And then she has an ability that happens as soon as I recruit her. Um, she'll come in exhausted. I'm going to select your character that you played, your hired killer, and put it right. back in your hand. All right. Um, and then I am going to activate my persona, Sean Mason. Um, and since it's the beginning of the game, you have not attacked me since the game started. Um, I'm going to use his first ability to gain four prestige. Cool. Um, and that's it. Your turn. All right. So I, had, I already have five cards in my hand. Yep. So I don't need to draw anything. Is that correct? You do go ahead and draw. You always draw at the start of your turn, uh, just not on the first turn of the game if you go first. Okay. And how many do I draw? Just one. Just one? That's funny. Um, I'm going to play... Um, oops, I actually have two select. I'm going to play Call of Arms. So this goes straight to my trash? Right, so you'll do what it says, um, and then it'll go to your trash. All right. So then it's recruit two followers. And those are both tapped? Uh, they're both exhausted, yes. Yes. Um, Sorry, if you exactly. wanted, you could exhaust your persona um, for his first ability before doing that. Um, and then they would have blitz, so they would come in and immediately refresh. Yes, and I will do that. Okay. So I need to declare that before... Whoops. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let you do it now. Because um, sure. you didn't know. Um, but yeah, that's, that would be the order. You exhaust Roman Jackson. You say that for the rest of this turn, everything I recruit has blitz. And then you play that action that recruits two tokens, and they have blitz. Great. Okay. 
So then I can go ahead and attack with both of these? Uh, just the one in the front. Um, so oh, okay. the, the way that combat works in Age of Primes is um, the followers in your party uh, in that row um, have an order from front to back, and whoever's in the front does all the fighting um, at the current okay. time. If they get knocked out, then whoever's behind them is now at the front. Um, and right. becomes, we call that person your champion, is the one that does the okay. fighting. So then I will do that. All right, so your fighter token uh, only has one might. That's the number in the top corner. Yep. Um, against my High Court Bailiff, which has four. So oh, your, okay. your fighter will be defeated. Great. Um, you'll deal one damage to, uh, to my Bailiff, which is not enough to defeat her. At the end right. of the turn, she'll heal back. Um, so you don't accomplish very much with that attack, except that um, because my Persona's main ability cares about whether I was whether you dueled against me or not, even though you lost, you did duel against me, so I'll only be able to um, gain one prestige off of him on my next turn instead of four. Great. So then this goes to the discard? Right. Um, and the way tokens work is as soon as they leave the field, they just stop existing, so you can go ahead and put it back in that stack. Okay. And then you move up. Exactly. All right. And that would be my turn. All right. Um, I will refresh my two characters here. I'll draw a card. I am going to play another follower. I'm going to put uh, him behind my existing one. So anytime you play a follower, um, you either put it at the extreme front or the extreme back of your party. Okay. Um, the exception to that is once your party's full, then you have to replace one of your existing followers to play a new one. Um, right. And you would replace any of the followers in the row in the same position. But since that's okay. not true right now, I have a choice front or back. I choose to put Felix Munson uh, in the back behind my one other follower. Right, okay. So he comes down, he's exhausted, he has this ability kickback, um, so after I recruit him during my turn, I can play an additional action, um, which I will. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play Surveil. So Surveil says I recruit a spy token and I draw a card. Right. What do spy tokens lead to? Um, they're just like your fighters, except they're called spy. Okay. Um, I'm going to put my spy in the front. And of course, she is also exhausted. And then all that's left is uh, to activate Sean Mason. And like we said, I'm only going to get one because you did duel against me during your turn. Right. There we go. Uh, and then I'm finished. All right. So uh, I have a card. Well, I've. Uh, and currently, my. Um, Prestige is at zero. Can I still play it, even though it's at... So as part of it, it says, if that character is defeated. Yeah, so um, when you're at zero prestige, you can't go below zero. If something tells right. you to lose prestige, you just don't. Um, you can still okay. play the card, though. Okay, so I will play Cold Blood. And... So nothing, would... nothing in Age of Primes... Um, uh, no cards you can play are fast in Age of Primes. Okay. Um, so you'd want to go ahead and start your turn, refresh your guy, draw your card, and then this oh, yeah, will be your play for the turn. Yeah, sorry about that. That's all right. You can tell I'm still relatively new to card games. <laughs> no, that, that's fine. That's just sort of the way our rule set works for this game, is almost everything you do happens during your own turn. Right. Um, so is that the card you're playing for your turn? Yes. It is. Okay. And I will. So do I get to choose the target? Yeah, because it says select an enemy character, you can pick um, any character, any of my characters, uh, to be the target. All right, I'll target Felix. All right, so Felix is defeated. He goes to my trash. Uh, you lo would lose five prestige, but you don't have any, so you right. can just ignore that drawback. Uh, and then I will. Can I tap this to give glory to my fighter? Yes. And then attack with the fighter? Exactly. So your fighter will duel against my spy. They each have one might, so they'll both be defeated. Um, and you'll okay. gain one prestige for your trouble, because glory gains you prestige equal to how much damage you dealt. 
Perfect. Um, and then my bailiff is now at the front of my party. All right, so that's my turn. Okay. Um, I will refresh. I'll draw. Um, I'm going to initiate a... Oh, I can't choose Guardian. be good if I read my cards, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, that's all right. You're only at one. It's not that important. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to play Aisha Campbell at the back of my party. Um, so she's got two things that are going to happen when I recruit her. Um, the first is she's got kickback, so I can play an action uh, after playing her this turn. And then um, she also gets uh, an action from my trash back to my hand. I only have one, so it's going to be Surveil is back in my hand. Right. Um, she is, of course, exhausted. Um, and then for her kickback, I'm just going to go ahead and play Surveil. So I'll make another spy token and draw a card. Um, and I'll put the spy in the front like I did before. Um, and then I will activate my prime and I'll only gain one because you, you dueled against me on your turn. And then All right. finished. All right. And then I'll draw my one card. All right, uh, I will tap to give this um, blitz. And I will play Glory Seeker. Nice. And then I will tap and initiate a duel. All right. Um, she will knock out my uh, my fighter to my spy token. Excuse me. Um, and you'll gain five four prestige for your trouble. All right. Off of Glory. Um, and, of course, my followers move up. Um, my token does one damage back, which is not enough to do anything meaningful to your Glory Seeker. She'll be fine. Right. Okay. All right. And that will be my turn. Okay. Um, I will refresh and draw a card. What am I looking to do on my turn? Ah, Okay. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play Council Bureaucrat at the back of my party. She makes my other council followers, which are the ones with the purple ribbons, uh, gain one might. Right. Um, she, of course, comes in exhausted. Um, so my bailiff at the front is actually a five right now instead of a four. Okay. I'm going to activate my persona for his second ability to say my champion can duel this turn as though it didn't have guardian. So my Bailiff is going to duel against your Glory Seeker, 5 to 4. Alright, so this will be this card. There it is. And um, uh, normally you would gain uh, Prestige because you deal damage back, but Glory only works uh, on your own turn, so you don't. Right, okay. Um, and that's it for me. Alright. All right. Oh, it did the same thing. There we go. Um, I'll do um, Blitz again, and okay. I'll bring in... And, All right. and I will attack uh, or yep. duel. Yep. Um, because they're evenly matched 5 to 5, they are both defeated. All right. And that would be my turn. Okay. You're keeping me on the ropes here. <laughs> refresh, refresh. I'll draw. Do I want to do that? That seems like such a waste. All right. We're going to do this instead. I'm going to play another council bureaucrat in the back. All right. Um, and I will... Let's see, you're at five, you have no 
champion. Um, so I will send Aisha Campbell to duel against your persona directly. So okay. She will deal five damage because she's a five right now, and you'll right. just lose that from your prestige. Ah, uh, okay. Which is why it's always good to have followers in play if you can help it, because they'll soak damage, if nothing else. Right. Um, and then I will gain my one prestige off of my persona. I'll be at seven. Uh, and then I'm finished. Um, all right. Relatively uh, low-scoring game so far. Okay. I will, again, use Blitz, and again, play Glory Seeker. And can I also play an action? Uh, you're only allowed to play one card unless something lets you play more than one. Okay. Um, like, I only keep getting away with playing more than one because I keep playing things with kickback. Right. So these are, and your, your champion is at five. Is that uh, correct? Correct. Because she's getting a passive plus two from the two bureaucrats. Okay. Well, I probably did that wrong. But You can play something different uh, if you want. Oh. Fine. <laughs> um. There he is. Yeah, hired killer. I knew he was coming out sooner or later. Yeah. Um, and I will attack with him. All right, so he or will duel. duel against Miss Campbell. Um, and she's got the higher total, so she'll knock him out, but his ability will make her loot die anyway. So they are both defeated. Leaves me empty again, but I'm at zero prestige anyway. <laughs> well, and you keep dueling against me, so... You keep stopping me from getting four at a time. Basically what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, that would be it. All right. I will refresh and draw. Ooh, what is this? Okay. You're at zero. No reason to attack. Um, I will play another follower to the front of my party. This time Praetorian. He has a base 5 might, so right now he's a 7. He has Guardian, so he can't duel on his own. Um, and he has Kickback. Um, and off of his Kickback, I'm going to play a face-down card up here in my hideout. Um, so the way th this works is um, some of the cards in the game have an ability called Hidden. Um, right. And Hidden means that you, when you play it from your hand, instead of doing what it says right away, you put it face down in your hideout. Um, and it's got an ability on it that at some future point when some condition is met, it'll allow you to flip it over and do its effect. Oh, okay. Um, so, no way to know exactly what I have. Uh, but, um, yeah. Um, and then I will gain one off of my persona and go to eight. And I'll be finished. All right. And race to 25, is that correct? Correct. If at any time one of us, uh, at least one of us has 25, and one of us clearly has more than the other, then the game will be over. Right, okay. All right. So again, I will use Blitz. It seems to be working for me. Another one. I was hoping and we didn't have another one. I will attack. All right, same thing as before. They will both be knocked out. I keep saying attack instead of duel. I'm sorry for that. That's fine. And that would be it. Okay. Um, they move forward. I'll refresh and draw. What do I have going on here? That would be really good if I could draw into more actions. Alright, well, um, I will gain my one. Um, and I will play a gatekeeper at the front of my party. She's a four with guardian. 
Um, but when I perform an action, she gains one prestige. Or I'm sorry, she gains one might and can duel this turn as if she didn't have guardian. Right, okay. So, potentially bigger. Uh, and of course, at the moment, she's getting a plus two anyway. So she's a six. Right. Um, Just can't get through to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, is what, that is what the council deck is supposed to do. Um, right. That'll be it for me. All right. Okay. Continue using Blitz. Let's do this again. It's the third one, right? Yep. All right. So theoretically, you're out of them now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good to know. All right. That's my turn. Okay. Just going to keep inching forward, I guess. What do we got? Oh, I'm actually, I'm going to flip over my hidden card at the start of my turn. I was just bluffing. This is not a response to anything. This is just, at the start of my turn, uh, I kick back and draw a card. Right. So this turn, I get an extra play, but it has to be an action, and I get to draw a card right now. Nope, that's not going to do very much right now. Um... Okay, let's see what's on top of my deck. I'm going to play a High Court Spy, we'll say, at the front. Um, so it does kick back, so I'm now up to two extra actions. I don't think I'm going to use them both. Um, I look at the top card of my deck. If it's an action, I reveal it and draw it. So let's see. I'm going to peek at this. Don't look. It is an action. Okay, so I will reveal it to you. It's overrule, and then it's going to go in my hand. Um, so this is another uh, hidden action. Um, that goes in my hand. And then, uh, completely unrelated to that, I'm going to play a face down card. Um, and even though I do have one action left, I'm not going to use it for anything. Um, I am going to tick up my persona, though, gain one more prestige. All right. Ah, which means my, my third ability is online now. Yeah, for your... Oh, and yours too, because they both oh. start at 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the way the threshold abilities work is as long as any player has 10 or more, uh, then the 10 pluses all turn on. Okay. So we can both make use of those abilities starting now. So I could tap him and recruit a follower. Right. Right, okay. Um, and I'm done. Your turn. All right. All right. I am going to play the Jacques Levache. Yeah, so let's see. He has Blitz and Raid by himself, but not Glory yet, because nobody's at 15. All right. And he is tapped. He's not, actually, because he has Blitz. Oh, because he has Blitz, yep. He has Blitz by himself. Well, that's nice. All right. And then I'm trying to flush out my followers, so I will recruit another follower. Uh, behind, I will put the untouchable rogue. Okay, that's probably going to be a problem for me. So it says select untouchable rogue. Is that for dueling? No, that's for um, targeting for, for target? cards. Um, yeah, okay. Single target actions pretty much always use the word select. Um, okay. And so anything that says select a follower, select an enemy character, I would not be able to select her for that. Right. She's untouchable. Cool. All right, that's my turn. Uh, actually, no, sorry. I will attack. Duel. Right, right, because Levanche did have Blitz, so you're going to duel with him right away. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. These are both fours, and the one in the front is a three. So luckily for me, you can only hit one of them. Um, my spy will be knocked out. Um, because okay. he has raid, he would be able to spill over and hit the next one in line, but it's just not right. enough damage, luckily for right. me. All right, 
I'm going to have to do something about him. Not sure what. Uh, are you finished after that? Yes. Okay. I'll refresh and draw. Oh, well, that's something. Does that help me? Yeah, that helps me. Okay. I'm going to play Grand Marshal at the front of my party. Um, his ability basically makes it so he's a 4 when he's attacking and a 6 when he's defending. Okay. Um, and of course he's getting an additional plus 2 from uh, my two bureaucrats, because he is purple. Right. So he's a 6 right now, but if you duel against him, he'll become an 8. Right. Um, when he comes into play... Um, he will make you lose two prestige, and I'll gain two. And of course, you can't lose because you can't go below zero. But I still gain the two. Okay. Um, and then because of uh, Sean Mason's third ability, um, my guards gain kickback, and I believe yes, Grand Marshal is a guard. It says right under his name. So he has kickback, so I can play an action right now as well. What action do I want to play? I'm going to play Parade for the Fallen on uh, Jacques Levant, since he's the one I can target. Um, so he is defeated, but you gain okay. three prestige for your trouble. This is sort of my version of Cold Blood that you played earlier. Right. Okay. So he goes away. He goes away, uh, but you gain three. We will remember him always. <laughs> um, and then I will gain my one prestige. Um, and I'll be finished. All right. I had a whole thing set up based on that guy. He's he's very strong. I, if I did not have the answer for him, I was going to be in real trouble. <laughs> he's uh, one of the strongest followers in uh, in episode one. Hmm. Of course, I might be in trouble anyway, depending on what you have. That untouchable rogue is going to be a problem for me. I will a Ren's Claw veteran. Okay, yeah, this is where it starts going bad for me right here. <laughs> um, uh, and can I play can I play to the front of the party still? Uh, yes. I, you did yeah, already play so a I, card, so you would have to use Jackson. Yeah, uh, so I will do game. that. I will do that. And move these guys over. There we go. So glory seeker, and uh, comes in tapped. Okay. And that is my turn. And let's see. This says during your turn, your champion can't be defeated. Okay. So if I'm going to deal with that, I have to deal with it on my turn. Let's see. Uh, I'll draw. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to play my bailiff at the back of my party. Um, and I'm going to put the Glory Seeker back in your hand. All right. Because I still can't select the Untouchable Rogue. Right. Um, but, and this is going to hurt because you actually did not attack me that turn, so I'm going to be giving up, yep. I'm giving up a chance to gain four here, but that's all right. I got a decent lead. We're going to activate Mason to say that my champion can duel, as though he didn't have a Guardian this turn. Ah, uh, okay. Um... So, 
we will come in with him for six. All right. Dead. Thank goodness. Um, and that'll be it for me. Uh, all right. So uh, if I have a um, card with hidden, does that still count as my um, one action? It does count as your one play for the turn. Yeah, okay. All right. I will recruit Glory Seeker again. And I will recruit... Charging Ruffian. And that will be my turn. Okay. Making me choose between knocking off your guys or gaining four here. Well, I might not need to knock off your guys. Not with uh, Grand Marshal out front. Getting all his bonuses. Yeah. Now I missed an opportunity to trigger him off of the bailiff. Oh well, that's my loss. Um, all right, move these four down. Um, I will play another bailiff in the front, um, and we'll put the glory seeker back in your hand again. All right. Uh, this time I will remember to steal two from you with my grand marshal. Because I played another guard. All right. So, so I lose. You go down two. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and gain four off of Mr. Mason. Um, Close game. Well, for a couple of turns there, it looked like it was going to be. but It was I, about to turn. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it still could. You could draw anything. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pass. I still have one play left, but I'm not. I don't have a use for it. All right. I am kickbacking more quickly than I can draw action cards. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play Firebomb. Okay. And see, I'm going to target your Grand Marshal. Okay. Um... Do I even want this to resolve? Actually, I would choose defectors. Is that right? I'm sorry? So if I, if I selected Grand Marshal, then... Or sorry, if I selected High Court Bailiff, would the other four cards go away? Uh, so I get to pick something as well. And then okay. after we've both picked, then you'd get to decide. Okay. Um, but we're just going to skip all that because I'm just going to... Oops. I'm just going to overrule the firebomb okay. and stop it. It goes away. Yeah, I don't think I want that many of my things to get blown up right now. <laughs> all right. Cool. Oh. Tap to bring that glory seeker back out. Okay. And that's my turn. Oh, and you had the veteran still. Yeah, that would have been really bad to let that firebomb resolve. Because none of your stuff would be blown up no matter what I picked. Right. Okay. Draw. I'm going to play another face-down card. All right. And uh, gain my four. Um, and that's it. All right. I feel like I'm forgetting triggers because I haven't played this deck in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I will play into my hideout. Okay. And then I will attack. 
Uh, okay, you deal four damage to me and gain four, and your follower survives um, because of your veteran. All right, and that's my turn. Okay. Um, Actually, sorry, I may as well recruit again. Might as well. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, unfortunately, this is where the game is going to end, because um, at the start of my turn, I'm going to flip up this secret meeting, and I'm going to remember this time to gain a prestige each off of my bureaucrats when I perform an action. <laughs> Instead of forgetting that, like I have been all game. And well, at least I didn't have. At least I didn't have zero. Yeah. Um. At the beginning of the game, that really seemed like it could go either way. Like I was mm -hmm. inching out ahead, um, but I kept having to devote resources uh, and not gain four. Um, yeah, and I I had a series of cards set up that would have worked really well with that yeah. strong. Um, and I was basically one turn away from really getting that going. Yep. So they could have gone either way then. Yep, I think it was just in the last couple of turns that I really ran away with the game there. Yeah. We're right on. Cool, cool, cool. Um, mm -hmm. Well, do you want to play again? Sure.